for the late Zimbabwean president. We'll get into sample much more, but just to check on one right now, I have one from Dr. Miguna Miguna, who says goodbye, Comrade Mugabe, a walking contradiction, revolutionary icon, liberator, and genuine Pan-Africanist who overstayed in power and sullied his legacy by brutalizing his own people. The West sabotaged you, you sabotaged yourself to R.I.P. Mugabe, adding on to his complex legacy, what many people are choosing to view that way. We come back home now and six people have been arrested after they were found with 20 pieces of elephant tusks yesterday evening in East Pokot area, Baringo County. The suspects were later arraigned before Cabernet law courts where they denied the charges. It is three days down the line since Tourism Cabinet Secretary Naji Balala clarified that Kenya has embarked on a strategic framework that will ceremoniously make Kenya a sport as one of the world historic countries. His remarks came in the wake of an, an alarming decrease in the number of elephants and giraffes due to increased ivory trade. <laughs> The efforts against poaching activities, however, still seem to linger. Yesterday evening, six people were arrested after they were found with 20 pieces of elephant's tusks in the East Pocot, Baringo County. While confirming the incident, County Police Commander Robinson Dewa said the suspects were arrested by officials from Kenya Wildlife Service from Nakuru and Nairobi headquarters with tusks in a lame area, Ribiko Ward in Tiati. Yesterday at around uh, 4 p.m. Uh, in the East location called Ripko, a combined uh, security agencies drawn from KWS and uh, National Police Service acting on a tip of uh, ambushed uh, five sus suspects who are carrying these tasks, around tw uh, 21 of them. Uh, from Mutiati and they were destined to, uh, for Nairobi. The task you see here uh, weighs around uh, 72.5 kgs. Street value of the tasks 72 million.25. The five were later arraigned in Cabernet law courts where they denied the charges. The prosecution requested the court to give the suspect strict bond terms because of the gravity of the matter at hand and also because the suspect's identity could not be established. They didn't have any identity cards with them. The case will be heard next week on Friday. Faith Anula for KOTV News.